Mm-hmm. Hello, everyone, and welcome to our top of the hour update of the I Love New York Championship here at Capitol Hills at Albany in beautiful Albany, New York. I'm Betsy Ross, and we are just off the 18th green. And every once in a while, you can probably hear people applauding in the background of some of these races. We're uh, just now finishing up. We're a little more than halfway through the first round. We do have a log jam there at the top. We have five right now in the clubhouse at four under, and they include Liz Janangelo, Mo Martin, who was leading at the turn. She is still up there at a minus four. Libby Smith, just up the road in Essex Junction, Vermont. She is among the leaders. Sonia Choi and Natalia Sereshwan, all of them leading in the clubhouse at minus four. Scoring conditions have been absolutely perfect today. Just a bit of a breeze, not much at all. Sunny skies, as you can see, it's been dry. It's going to be dry for the rest of the weekend. Probably about 78, 80 degrees here. It's going to be perfect conditions for golf all weekend long, and certainly the scores are reflecting that as the leaders now are at minus four, with more than half the field now in the clubhouse. One of those golfers who has finished up is with us now, Brianna Vega. One of our big break winners who was with us on the Durham Futures Tour. Brianna, how was it out there? It was good. You know, it's nice to have nice conditions. We've had a really wet year and it's beautiful here. The greens are rolling really nice and it's a great golf course. I know that was kind of the joke that if you want to rain in your area, just have a Durham Futures Tour event there. Yeah, no kidding. I don't, I can't even count how many times it's rained and I had to keep reminding myself it was not a lift clean in place today. So I didn't touch the golf ball, but it was beautiful. It was really nice. So how has the uh, year been for you? Of course, this is the year-end event here this year for the Durham Futures Tour. How has the year been for you? Um, it's kind of been an up-and-down year. I've had a better end than start. Um, I just put a lot of pressure on myself at the beginning of the year, and now I'm just kind of going with the club. So just getting ready for Q School right now. And you'll be doing Q School, of course, Q School qualifying school. For those folks who don't know what Q School is, kind of summarize it. I know it's like having finals for, for several days in a row. Kind of a grind. Um, there's two chances at first stage. You, uh, I think it's top 25. I'm not sure. Make it from California and Florida, and then you get, you know, exempt to Daytona Beach, and that's where our final stage is in December. Okay. Well, as I mentioned, Bianca was one of the uh, winners of Big Break, so we are doing Twitter trivia again for this hour, and Brianna's going to help us with our Twitter trivia question, and it is, which Big Break did I win? I guess you can Facebook us or Twitter. That's right. With the answer. That's right. Join us on Facebook as a fan or follow us on Twitter at, at Road2, the number 2 LPGA. Send us the answer and we will be able to send you an autograph cap or visor if you're the first one to come back here with the uh, correct answer. Since uh, we'll let them run to their computers and figure out which one that you did win, how did winning the big break change your career? Um, it definitely opened a lot of doors. I think I'm a little bit more recognizable than, uh, you know, since our tour is not televised mm -hmm. or anything. People come out here and have seen big break players on TV, so I think it helped promote our tour. We get a lot of fans who come and watch who've been fans of the show. So I think I've just gotten a lot of fans out of it, a lot of exposure, and it definitely helped a lot. No downside. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. And, of course, uh, the Golf Channel's been out here to interview uh, another round of players as possible participants in future big breaks. Uh, did some of the players come to you for advice and ask you what what you thought of the experience? Yeah, lots of people ask, like, is there a certain way to get on? Like, what should I say? Should I be myself? And that, you know, I don't, you never know what they're looking for. They're always looking to kind of character type you. So I think uh, you just got to be yourself and what they think. How did, how did you get on? You know, I don't know. I tried out first and I didn't get on. Then the second time around I got on. But I did <laughs> mention I worked at Victoria's Secret. And for some reason that was like the big running joke. So I think that helped. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was probably a big selling yeah, point. You know? They always had at the bottom like bra fitter, so I don't know. <laughs> it was great. <laughs> so I think that was entertaining. Yeah, I think it was. Well, Brianna, thank you so much. Uh, congratulations on your first round. Best of luck uh, for the rest of this tour, this tournament, and of course when you go to Q School. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Thanks for watching. All right. Thanks a lot, Brianna, Mega, and again, our Twitter trivia. Figure out which big break she won, send the answer to us, and you'll get an autographed cap or visor from the Durham Med Futures Tour. Once again, just to recap, minus four, our leaders, Liz Giangelo, Mo Martin, Libby Smith, Sun Choi, Natalia Saraswan, and of course, you can follow real-time scoring throughout the day at DurhamMedFuturesTour.com.
we will be back at the top of the next hour with another update and interview. So keep following us here as we live stream. And of course, join us on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. For the Dermot Futures Tour, I'm Betsy Ross.